All right, now. <laughs> so now I'm going to talk about what the meditation is about. So we have between, let's just say between you and the sun, between the top of your head and the sun, there's a space right in the middle. It's called, I call it the cosmic star. All right. But it is, it is a large chakra, but I call it the cosmic star because it's, it's up in the cosmic area for me. And that cosmic area can get really clogged if you're only relying on your mind for information and you're not relying on your own spirit or the God of your heart, right? So it can get clogged. I'll tell you for most people on the earth right now, it's beautiful. It's bright. It's shiny. It looks like a diamond to me for, I would say a good 75% of people on the planet. It looks, yeah, it's just gorgeous. Uh, some people say they call it the soul star chakra. All right. This is the one I want you to know about below your feet, between the bottom of your feet and the core of the earth. I call it the earth star and it is another chakra, but I call it the earth star. Now, when I have clients who are so, so sad that they just don't want to be here, as a clairvoyant nurse healer, the first place I go is I clean off that earth star or earth chakra. Because if you are not connected to the earth, to the earth energy, to the grounding, you can't feel connected to your body. You can't feel connected to other people around you. You just, yeah, you just, you just don't feel like you belong here. And with my clients, as soon as I clear that off, they're like, oh, I'm back. So that's, we're going to have that meditation today. But what spirit was saying was, have you ever had a drainage field? So you've got your septic system in your house and your drain field collapses or it's just old. Well, what happens is in the sink, you try to drain the sink and it just backs up. The toilet backs up. It backs up into the bathtub. It backs up into the whole house. Well, this is exactly what's happening to everyone right now is we're dumping so much that, uh, and we haven't released it all the way down that it's kind of backing up into our aura. And that's when you feel, you can feel kind of yucky. So <clears throat> that's the meditation we're going to do. So are you all, are you all ready for that meditation? Ah, take a, a deep, deep breath. That's a lot of information. And spirit finally backed up a little bit. So it was like, tell this, 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 this. So, yeah. All right, close your eyes. <clears throat> And turn within, because this is going to really help prepare you for the major solar eclipse event and all the other astrological events that are happening here in April. And then take a moment to just talk sweet to your bodies, because they're going through it. Your, your spirit's fine. Your spirit's better than fine, but your body's, wow, they're going through it. So talk a little sweetly. And let your body know, I've got you. I've got you. I've got your back. I'm not going anywhere. It's like your spirit saying, I'm not going anywhere. I'm here for you. I do. I am reading. Someone said, don't we also have an earth star <clears throat> under each foot? 
you're going to have a lot of, you have a lot of stars. So I'm just focusing on one right now. You go with your intuitive understanding. So you can put an earth star underneath each foot if that's right for you. And now greet your spirit. And I just, you can even float up to where your higher self is for just a moment to just see how incredibly excited your spirit is and how incredibly diamond bright it is right now. And if you don't feel that brightness, bring in a little bit of blue or silver or diamond energy, gold. Maybe allow some of that forgiveness. Maybe that's what wants to come through. Polish up your connection with your higher soul self. And then checking in your higher self communicates to you through imagination and playfulness. So when your imagination gets triggered in your crown chakra, that then kind of hits the intuitive button to help communicate to you. So right now with your imagination, your intuition, what is a level of grounding that would be a great source of strength for you? Now, funny, I'm asking my spirit about grounding and my spirit showed me an image of a giraffe. So yeah, you can ground with a giraffe. Last week, my spirit wanted me to ground with an egg. So yep, you can use your standard default tree with roots and that works beautifully or you can use a blue beam of light a waterfall or rainbows koala bears and then just imagine that it's such an enormous strength for you it's going to go all the way to the center of the earth and it's going to anchor you we're going to anchor the center of the earth before we heal the earth star Yeah, Randy, you're like, how do we ground an animal? Well, like a koala bear, for example, you might have a string of koala bears and they're just holding each other's hands and feet. One time I had a unicorn and I'm like, where does the horn go? And the unicorn flew down to the center of the earth and back up again with ribbons rainbow ribbon so use your creativity randy let your spirit share its creativity with you allow the grounding to move through the seat of the chair or the bed or the floor or the earth, let it go through the foundation of the building that you're in. Let it just drop right through the earth's crust and travel the 3,500 miles to the center of the earth and then come up with another image to help anchor your grounding into the earth. Whew. 
Ooh, I can already feel a relaxing that's happening in your body. So play with a feeling or a dial and imagine sending more energy down to help you ground more, or you're going to pretend you have a dial and turn it up or down until you have the strength of your grounding right where you want it or feel it strengthen and lighten and strengthen and lighten until it's right where you want it to be. Your grounding helps stabilize your energy field and helps your body to feel safe. It feels contained in a safe way. But the other thing with grounding is it acts as a drain so that it just, it's like unplugging a bathtub. It just starts to drain everything out of your aura and out of your body that has become backed up. And your grounding goes right through the center of your earth star. So let your grounding start to drain any backed up energy on your earth star. Now, whenever I see that chakra in the earth, it looks very kind of reddish, like red earth to me, but it may look like something else for you. Nice. Now, remember that beautiful diamond like cosmic star, I call it, that's above your head? Well, see if you can make a blend of diamond and blue and silver cosmic energy to begin flowing through the top of your auric field, right into the room where you are, the top of your auric field, the top of your head, allowing it to drain, excuse me flow as it dissolves any congestion because you guys are turning it over you're turning that soil over so rapidly so allow this cosmic blend to just flow all the way through dissolving everything so that it can drain down your grounding and you're going to let it go all the way down through the floor the earth's crust and then you're going to also allow it that cosmic flow to flow through and dissolve any old kind of black, gray, sticky, can be white, sticky energy. Let it dissolve it off your earth star. Now, Spirit is showing me for some of you, you're noticing this spikes coming off the Earth Star. That just means that there's some old pain that's collected there. And some of it even looks sharp like razor blades. So don't worry about any of that. Because remember, that part of you that's aligned with the God of your heart can do anything. You are not limited. So allow this light to come in and completely dissolve, explode, break up any pain right there at that core earth star.
Now, as it's draining, Spirit's showing me a black ring. For some of you, there's a black ring that goes around the Earth Star. I'm asking Spirit what that is. And Spirit's saying it's limitations. It's programming or it's giving you the message that you're limited in how much you can ground. So that's what I call a belief system that's a lie, but we believe it's true. So, no, you can ground strongly. So just drop that limitation ring right down your grounding to be dissolved. Oh, there it goes. Whew. Got goosebumps on that one. We're going to finish off this meditation with the number one thing Spirit says. The only thing you need to remember throughout this whole thing. Relax and expand your light. No matter what happens today, tomorrow, the rest of your life, always start with relax and expand your light. All right, whenever you are ready, please feel free to go ahead and open your eyes and Look around the room. Remember, sometimes the furniture has been rearranged. So just acclimate, stretch your body. And as you're coming back, I really would love it if you'll post in the comments. And once I go off the live call, you can always come back later and post a comment. I do want to let you know we are closing registration today for the Solar Eclipse Expansion event. And I've had a couple of people write me to say, you know, I thought it was too late, blah, 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 blah. And they're like, I joined anyway, and it was great what the meditations are already helping me. So just to let you know, that's still available. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for uh, popping on this morning or afternoon or evening, wherever you are. And for all of you who are watching the replay uh, later on. This particular meditation, even if it's 10 years from now, is still going to be greatly beneficial for you. So I love reading your comments. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye, and I'll see you next week.